Welcome back to the World Go Channel. I'm your host and Go Evangelist James Story. This is Lesson 5.4 in the Fighting the Basic Shapes series. Lesson 5.4, the two-point jump or extension on the same line. Once again, a jump is usually perpendicular to the edge of the board. It's into the center of the board and an extension is uh, horizontal with the edge of the board, parallel with the edge of the board. Um, and, but, you know, if you, if you mix up those terms, big deal. Uh, so we're going to use these two stones, these two black stones with stars on them, so we can keep track of the original stones that we're trying to say, okay, these are the two stones that black is trying to keep connected. Uh, we're going to start here on the uh, first line from the edge of the board. Stupid place, I know, but, you know, it looks rather obvious what's happening here, but it doesn't matter, you know, where white goes here, black will capture, right? And if they cut like this, black can capture. So black is easily able to keep the uh, two stones connected up with a two-point jump in between on the first line. On the second line, it's uh, not so hard either. Black can actually contain white. This white needs to cut to capture, right? <clears throat> black can play here, and then white plays there, and black captures. But better for black because they can pick those up almost any time, is to extend out to here. Notice this group, this white group only has two liberties. This one now has one, two, three, four. Okay. If um, uh, white then plays this, uh, black can either extend out or come down and capture. And it depends on the ladder. Uh, if, the, if the ladder doesn't work for black, if black doesn't have a ladder breaker on both sides, and we'll see that in just a minute, then they need to come down here and make sure they pick up. If they come out here, though, then white's going to go here. Black's going to go there. Well, it doesn't depend on the ladder. What am I saying? White's going to go there, and black's going to go here and have an Atari, right? In the same way, if white comes from uh, this side, Atari, black plays here, and if white pushes here, Black comes out here and Atari's this stone. So black should be able to extend out both of these uh, quite easily. Um, if white does something like this, then when black extends out, they have three liberties. And notice they have some, there's a double Atari right there. So this is the two point jump on the second line. Okay, if white plays, uh, black plays here and white cuts this way then um, oops, black can simply come down in Atari and pick up that stone whenever, whenever they want. They could uh, do something like this, but then that doesn't work out so well for them, do they? So they really need to uh, Atari and capture right away. Um, uh, if, of course, if white plays this and you play here, it's just the same position flipped over, isn't it? Right, just flipped like that. Same symmetrical position. So on the second line from the edge of the board, it's very easy to uh, reconnect uh, stones with a two-point jump. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, on, the, on the third line from the edge of the board, it should be it should be just as easy. Maybe we'll move these over here for just a second. And this is a very common um, uh, tactic used by Black to form a live group with a base, two eyes, with inside white territory. For example, uh, you know, a lot of times you get these. Uh, you know, four uh, white will uh, play on, on two sides here, something like that, you know, on a big board, maybe the, the two, four, four points. And if black can come in and uh, play uh, something, play a move in the middle where they can extend at a two-point jump in one direction or the other, then when white pushes them from one side or the other, they can extend out and they should make, uh, easily make life with this. For example, we'll just take those stones off here, put this more in the kind of the center of that board. Here's white, black at the two-point jump on the third line. One, two, three, the third line. Once again, uh, white can't peep because black just connects, right? Another peep by white and black says, well, that was quite easy. So white has to poke. They have to come in here and try to, try to uh, disconnect these stones. Black plays under here, all right? If white goes here, black goes here, and now when white goes there, black can Atari and capture. 
but they can also just extend out because when white extends out, this group has three, this group has one, two, three liberties, but it's black's turn and they take that down to, uh, down to two liberties and so they'll get to win that capturing race. But if they had to, they could play this, right? Okay, once again, if white comes on this side then, black can come down and threaten an Atari or they can also just come out and they're going to hit, uh, <clears throat> they're going to have the same thing here. Well, I take that back here. White, black needs to, uh, whoa, whoa, what am I thinking? Let's go back and look at this again. <laughs> here, here, uh, whoops, here. So white, black starts out like that. White goes here, black goes there. If white goes here, black goes here. Um, if white goes there, black can extend out. But when white cuts on the other one, black needs to Atari. If they extend out, they let white capture, don't they? It's like, oh, that was a mistake. So they need to go here so that when white does one of these moves, black can recapture this way. All right, so let's see that again real quick here. And then we'll look at another little variation here, here, here. Atari one side or the other, black can extend out. But when they Atari on the other side, or not Atari, when they cut on the other side, black has to Atari. Because if they stand out, extend out, then white gets to come back and recapture these stones. All right, white can try other little tactics though, other little moves. So white played here, right? And black played here. Okay, this move didn't work for white, but they can come down and play this. All right, now white's gonna go Atari. And black's gonna, ex I mean, black's gonna go Atari. White's gonna extend out, or if they let black capture, then the star stones are reconnected, aren't they? It looks like they might want to do this, but that's not a good move because it allows white to use the Aji of this stone and say Atari. And when black captures, white can come and capture this on the ladder. Of course, obviously, it depends on if the ladder works or not. But uh, there's a better way for black to play this. So we're going to go back here to the beginning to see this variation. White plays here. Black plays here. White does the double Hane. Black does the Atari. White extends out so they're not connected. And what black does here now is they simply solidify that. They could also get away with this. That's fine too. If white tries to get out the other side, then black plays here. Notice we have a capturing race. This group here has one, two, three liberties. This stone has two, three, but these two only have one. White gets a little Atari here. Whoopee. White's not getting out, right? You know, they can cut here. But black can just Atari, and if white connects, it's connect and die. So let's see that again real quick here. All right, two-point jump. We're going to do it from the other side here, this time here. Black Hanes, white double Hanes, black Ataris. White extends out. Black solidly or loosely connects, uh, protects this cutting point. And when white tries to get out the other side, black Hanes and now they can pick up those white stones before white can uh, capture any black stones. So when white goes there, now these stones have two liberties, this stone has two liberties, but the white stone has two liberties. It's a capturing race, but whose turn is it? It's blacks. All right, so that is on the third line, the two-point jump or a two-point extension here on the third line, and that's why this is used a lot to invade enemy territory. If you can, uh, you know, put a stone down and extend it a two-point jump in either direction, then you're probably going to uh, to make that to make that live. The only difficulty is if white's kind of strong on both sides, then <clears throat> double honey here, 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 right? White goes here, black goes there. You know that's kind of that's kind of that's kind of kind of work out for uh, black too, isn't it? That's going to work out just fine here in Black Ataris. I think what, what White does instead of the double Hane in this situation when they have a stone, um, uh, some stones around here, is they, they don't try to cut and capture. They play underneath. They play underneath and just try to steal Black's base. So if Black goes here, White's going to um, uh, get out like this, right? Black can't go there, it's Atari, and then they're going to come back and capture here. 
So black has to go there, but white gets to uh, come out like this and reconnect. So that's going to, um, uh, notice that there's also two cuts here that white can take advantage of. So when white has stones on the side of the uh, two-point jump on the third line, then they usually come in underneath here. Another thing that, that probably the best for black is here, all right? Here, threatening to poke through. Black connects. And then either one of these, and notice this doesn't work so well for black, right? This has two liberties. This has four. This has three. So uh, white is going to be able to, to reconnect. What black gets out of it, though, is they at least get a, a four-stone wall that they can jump off into the center, you know, somewhere to uh, run away and maybe make uh, two eyes in the center or reconnect to another group. But usually, if there aren't any stones around uh, that are close by here, by close by I'm meaning something like this, you know, at a one-point jump from these stones, if there aren't those stones around, then black is able to maintain this connection between these two uh, stones with stars on them, between the two one-point jump stones. Atari and capture. All right, let's take it up to the fourth line. This gets a little harder. Okay, this is a two-point jump on the fourth line. Um, let's see if white can just be kind of passive here. You play this. Now they cut. All right. Black comes down here. Um, they're going to come back down here, aren't they? Uh, White over this way probably isn't going to do a great deal. Let's see what happens if white cuts over here though now. All right, for one thing, if black tarries this way, they push white down, right? And now white has um, the threat of Atari and capture. So black has to play an empty triangle to uh, make sure they capture these. But now you can see white can... Uh, Atari there, and when black comes out, um, they can Atari this side to here, and then either do a solid connection or a loose connection, and they've been able to cut these star stones, the two black stones with the star stones, um, apart a little bit, although uh, this looks, this looks kind of mean. So maybe at this point, what white has to do is... Um, after this Atari, they come up here, they come over here and Atari. But the problem then is, is that black plays there and it's gonna, it's gonna capture those stones. And once they do, they capture those stones, then the two star stones uh, are reconnected, right, through, through black territory. This you should get out and play with. I may have made a mistake. See if you can find it. Anyway, if you like what you saw, give me the thumbs up. I don't think I made a mistake, but I might have. See if you can find it. This is Jim Story with the uh, World Go Channel. Thanks for watching. Give me the thumbs up if you liked what you saw. And uh, you know what? Let's go up here to the fifth line before we leave. Hold on. I think white can, can cut here. Do, 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 Tari. White extends out. All right. Black can catch this in a ladder, but... White is going to play there and then catch this one in the ladder and disconnect. So that wouldn't work for black. So black is probably going to have to come back and play this. And here, instead of playing here and, and, and getting a shortage of liberties, white should pinwheel out like this. This is the, here's the cross cut. And that's, this is usually the shape that you have is the pinwheel. See how everybody pinwheels out? All right. So uh, when they, once they do that, I think that black is going to have a really tough time uh, holding them in. Maybe something like this. But I think white can come out here, uh, probably out here first, and just kind of spread out on the edge of the board here and make, and make eyes. They're probably going to be able to spread out there and make, and make eyes. Get, get your stones out and play around with that. That is the best way to really get familiar with this. Just watching videos is helpful, but when you get, the, get your stones and your board out and you play around with it, then it really sticks. Anyway, 
Uh, if you like what you saw, give me the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave some comments. I always like those. I want to see what you're thinking. Uh, if you find that, uh, that this does work or doesn't work here with the two-point jump on the fifth line, let me know. Thanks again for watching the World Go channel. We'll see you next time. Bye.